Good morning, everyone. Jesse Webb, Traders Pro. I'll uh, apologize in advance. I'm still fighting this uh, chest cold, so I'll try not to cough in your ear. Let's uh, let's run quickly through market conditions. I'll come back to this page. Uh, we still have overall direction alerts. Again, this is a very slow moving indicator. Uh, we're sitting at the bottom of this bear market. Uh, futures are down a little bit this morning, 40 or so points uh, working on this retracement. Still, so far as of now, in this uptrend with um, in an overall bear market. <clears throat> Shorter term extremes, we've been talking about that. We're now coming back into this range. Momentum's moved back into out of that extreme and back into this area, which is good. Breadth as well. So we don't want it necessarily to to collapse and reverse entirely. We just want a little bit of a pullback to create a little bit more sustainable uptrend. Uh, so still in that range. So let me go back to that SPY chart here. And I'll show you. you can see that that's starting to pull back in within these overall uptrends. It can certainly create this range of trend. And we've talked we talked about the extreme when it's up here typically is up in these ranges and it'll just pull back into a support range so S&P's got some support uh, if futures hold and it opens uh, we may test those support levels and we'll see if we get a bounce off of those still some bullish bias overall to the market conditions right now if we look at buy sell ratio Still quite strong, uh, but again, topping out just a little bit here as we're running into some resistance on the short term. Sentiment, sentiment indicator as well up in that range. So I wouldn't, exp uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see uh, a, little, a little resistance right here as we're running into um, just, an, just an extension of a little shorter term trend right here. Uh, if we're looking through the, uh, the muscle stocks, there's actually several that are interesting right here. There are some... Um, uh, this one wasn't one of them, but there are some, the second or third one in some transportation and shipping. So I guess when this, in terms of restaurants, that's, that's an interesting play restaurants and construction right here. There's a nice little construction stock PR PWR. This is a nice looking setup in terms of, you know, the profile that we've been talking about where you have a stock that has been in this uptrend it's retraced and now you're getting this confirmation move that's essentially what the new buys scan is going to do for you is going to pull in stocks that have this exact setup each day so you're not having to spend too much time looking for those setups in fact you don't have to spend hardly any time and uh, so here's a is an interest interest interesting one to look at and then we also have this one which is a building another construction stock uptrend retracement uh, and some potential for a nice breakout on that. So interesting that construction stocks are working. This is Kroger as well, so retail supermarkets. So we've seen a couple of retail, a couple of construction, a couple of um, um, uh, re uh, restaurants in there as well. So uh, interesting little shift there potentially to not see so much oil, although those are already still advanced and still looking pretty good. But a decent selection of stocks uh, to look through for you today. If you don't have full access to the site, I've got a link for you to below for you to be able to get uh, access to that. We look forward to having you. Have a great day today.